They are the signs on the road you pass without a second glance, but do you know the stories behind them? Well, for many, the pain of another year without their loved one never fades. Armaya Belay visits with families who give new meaning to the signs of the fallen. Silent as the rising sun, a pink haze wakes a sleepy Northeast Ohio ready for the morning rush. <laughs> Only in the hustle to get where you're going. Past all the signs on the road. These are the ones you miss. These children. Fallen heroes. These brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers. Cherished and loved family. Didn't come home. Walter Oler made it his mission to know their names. <laughs> and works to secure many memorial highways. I'm so honored to be able to let them know that I carry that pain in my heart wherever I go, and I will tell their story about their loved one's sacrifice. Hey, buddy. For Marianne Sherry, seeing her son means coming to his grave. There's a little bit of a pain in my heart and I don't want that to ever go away because this is um, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And that pain reminds me of it daily. Bye, Danny. Love you. This is what we call the Danny room. Danny, a would-be fireman and only son, felt compelled to serve. The two of us were together when both towers were falling. And he just looked at me and I knew um, what he was thinking. Gone, but not far. Danny is always within reach. This is Danny's thumbprint, and I, it just, it gives me comfort to touch it and feel it and have it with me. And to repeat one of his parting words. Though I walk through the valley um, of darkness, I fear no evil. Afraid, like the years of war, Gold Star families remember. <laughs> I'm a um, combat veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom, did two tours in 2005 and 2008. Matthew's brother, Army Specialist Jason Cox, served there too. But in the pit of his stomach, Matthew knew only one of them would return. Something came over me when I went to my brother's base and, and you know, I just when I got there and everything, I just had a bad feeling and I, and I told him, you know, something doesn't feel right, you know. Jason died one month later. This veteran's barbershop opened in his honor. Every Sunday, my dad would take us to church, and now that's the highway, you know, that's, uh, you know, named after my brother, so, you know what I'm saying? It, it just, it, it kind of does make me, make me feel, you know, proud, you know? I feel very close to James. Um, this is a healing place. For Rick and Patricia Phillips, it's a place where angels gather. It'll be eight years, June 18th. But she still remembers the day when. I call it the day the hell, that hell knocked on my door. The first words out of my mouth was, you're wrong, you're lying. It's not my son. James Hunter. Because he promised he was coming home. The pain still raw. It's just he come home the wrong way. The staff sergeant and army journalist died telling the stories of soldiers he served beside. Something I never wanted to be part of. No military family wants to be part of this. Left behind with memories of children who had so much more of life left to live. Hey, Brad. For Donna Squires, every day is Memorial Day. Oh, God, do we miss you. 13 years and it feels like yesterday. Today and always. I love you. And I know you're always looking down at me. Providing comfort. I had it made into an urn with some of his ashes. And when I really need them, I just hang on to it and go, okay, come on, Brad, help me. Bye, Brad. I'll see you soon, okay? I love you. Remember, keep watch over all of us. And remind us all. They made that ultimate sacrifice, they gave their life, so we could, our lives could continue. To never forget, 
as the sun sets on another day. My Belay, Fox 8 News. These families have sacrificed so much and we can never forget. Well, Gold Star families say the pain of losing their child never fades and they want to make sure you remember the true meaning of Memorial Day. We'll be right back.